Vincent Daniel Gilligan, let me tell you how you thoroughly dropped the ball in this pathetic. First off, who cares about Jesse Pinkman? His story wasn't uh, imperative. That I didn't want to hear about it. I could care less about Jesse Pinkman. After the show ended, I didn't care what happened to him. I only thought about Heisenberg. That was it. And that's the only reason I watched that shitty-ass fucking show you made, because I wanted to see if Heisenberg was alive. But you did the unthinkable. You could have made Heisenberg live that fucking gunshot. And you know what you could have done? You think about this. Heisenberg survives, gets sentenced to prison, right? He turns state's evidence, gives the bodies up a hanking thing, tells everybody what happened, you know. He gets sentenced to like 10 years or 20 years. He, 10 years later, in 2023, you come out with Breaking Bad, the, 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 the second part, whatever. Beginning scene, White, Walter White goes up for parole, and he's released at fucking 60 years old, cancer-free, and you have a show that could be biblical. That's how you drop the ball. Now, the other way you could fix this, if you go back in El Camino and say Walter White lived and you were keeping under under protection because you didn't want Jesse Pinkman to go after him or some whatever. So you, you, you could basically say that he's alive and, and that's the whatever. But think about that. He goes to jail, he comes off for parole, and that's your beginning scene in Breaking Bad Part 2. You want to see what happens to Walter. Does he fall back into the Heisenberg? Is he still Heisenberg? Or is he Walter White? Or Yeah, Walter White, the, the, the chemistry teacher who's trying to get his wife back. Is she remarried? Is she married to Ted, uh, whatever, Beneke? Is he going back to Heisenberg? Is he stalker? Does he try killing her? You got so many venues you could have went with this Vincent. But, you know, people think you're the true genius. When, in fact, the true genius is sitting in Young Center, Ohio. I think you just copied somebody else's work. Rogue copying. <laughs> I'm the genius. I just gave you a $10 billion idea. Walter White's alive. The reason he's alive and you didn't say he was dead is because you thought Jesse Pinkman was going to go gunning for him. That's how you keep him alive. Reports where he died, but he's alive. 2013, 10 years. And then everyone will be 10 years older. That would be a great idea. Walter White gets out of prison. Beginning scene is parole. Tell me I'm not a genius. I'm a genius. If you're not going to do it, I want I want to do it. I want Walter White. Damn, that'd be a great show. See what Walter does in his second act of life after he gets out of prison. Will he go back to cooking meth? There's so many storylines. I wish he didn't kill. You know what? You should have never killed Hank. Hank should have never been killed because he could have, you could have made a, pre, you could make a prequel about Hank, how he risen to prominence in Albuquerque DA. Because Hank was a great character, probably one of the greatest television characters ever. But like I said, I didn't care what happened to Jesse Pinkman. I didn't need to see El Camino. I thought something was going to be about Walter White. I seen a, him and Jesse eating fucking food at some restaurant with the RV there. Anyway, I'm hungry as fuck. I got to eat something. The glasses right here. Three minute and 47 second video.